And so that equation breaks down to MA being the molarity of the initial solution, VA being the volume of the initial solution, MB being the molarity of the final solution, and VB being the volume of the final solution. Later when we talk about acids and bases, that MA will be the molarity of the acid, VA will be the volume of the acid, MB will be the molarity of the base, and VB will be the volume of the base. But that will come with titrations when we talk about acid and base titrations. So let's look at a sample problem. And if we were given 25 milliliters of water to add to a 125 milliliter solution of 0.15 molarity, and this was an NaOH sodium hydroxide solution, and we needed to find the molarity of the diluted solution. First, let's identify all our knowns and unknowns. So our MA mass of the first solution is 0.1, or molarity of the first solution is 0.15 molar. Our initial volume is 125 milliliters. Our secondary molarity, or the molarity of the diluted solution, is what we are looking for. And we are going to have a, a final volume of 150 milliliters because we're adding the 25 milliliters to the 125 milliliters, making a total solution of 150 milliliters. Using the equation, MAVA equals MBVB, we can plug in our values and solve algebraically. So 0.15 molar times 125 milliliters divided by 150 milliliters will isolate the molarity value. And in this case, that comes out to be 0.125 molar. As a second example, we have a solution with a volume of 0.05 molar HCl solution and we're going to dilute it 250 milliliters of 10 molar HCl. So let's look at our values again. Our initial molarity is 10 molar. Our initial volume is 250 milliliters. Our second molarity or the molarity of the final solution is 0 0.05 molar and our volume is what we are looking for. We use the same equation, MAVA equals MBVB. Again, plugging in the values and solving it algebraically, we end up with 10 molar times 250 milliliters divided by the 0 0.05 molarity. And what we note here is that we get 50,000 milliliters of solution. Now that seems quite a bit, but notice the change in molarity from 10 molar down to 0 0.05 molar. That's a tremendous change in concentration, so that's going to need a much larger volume, and that's why we have 50,000 milliliters of this volume. So as we had with gas laws, there's some inverse rea um, reactions here, and as molarity goes up, volume goes down. So these are inverse reactions or relationships, and uh, if you increase the volume, that's going to drive down the molarity. Again, an inverse relationship.